here we are, top of Regent Street, Langham Place, about to go in this famous old place, BBC Broadcasting House, to be interviewed on the BBC News Channel, all about shop theft. Should be an interesting couple of hours anyway. Over and out. The iconic BBC headquarters. Here we go, we're going in. See how we get on. I'll let you know. Well, you can tune in at half past five. The thing that meets you is the Doctor Who's police box. They took my photograph for security, that'd be good. So eight floors up. Yeah, yeah, eight floors up. There's no first floor in this building because they. It's probably it's funny to hear it for you, but they, because because they attached to the old building, oh, really? the paling that they call it, mm -hmm. and the way they design. What you see up there is the second floor. What you see here is the ground floor. And so, so the first floor. Oh, gotcha. Should be somewhere between the second <laughs> and this is ground floor. So the, that's minus the, one. All right, yeah, the, so that's the equivalent of the basement. Yes, that's the basement. And then we went down for the makeup. Right. That was uh, minus uh, three. Minus three, all right. Wow, that's incredible. Would you like yeah. to take a picture of you and the newsroom? And with me now is Neil Mackay, owner of Mackay Hardware Store in Cambridge. Neil, thank you very much for coming in. I know you've been campaigning on shoplifting for around 15 years. Does your experience in your store match uh, that picture that we highlighted in the, in the introduction? Have things been getting worse for you? Well, they have, and they're professional thieves now. There's gangs of thieves specialising in specific product areas like power tools and whatever. And you were telling me one of those items could be, you know, they're big ticket items, it could be £4,000, but the, the, the gang that you've been talking about that have come into your shop, you say they even come in with cutters to, to remove tags and security measures. They do. They've got cable cutters. They probably stole them from the shop as well. Uh, they cut all the cables, they cut the security tags, and there's a gang of three. They come in and they fill their jackets and they go out with the power tools. And do they keep getting around? Obviously, they must be doing any of the measures that you try to take. What measures have you tried to put in place to stop them? We've got CCTV. We've got very good staff who keep a very good vigilance. And in fact, they tackle people when they see it. Um, a lot of people are concerned about that. For, there's a huge rise in, in attacks on, on staff as well. But we... we give all the CCTV to the police and whenever possible we prosecute. Okay, so it's around, it's thought only a third of shoplifting offences are reported to police, but do you report it every single time then? Absolutely every time. In fact, I went to the House of Commons and I told Pretty Patel that uh, when they were talking about this £200 limit, which uh, was set in 2014, and the police uh, basically use that to, to say, well, okay, we're not going to turn up. If you ring 111, they, the first thing they ask is, what's the value of goods? Mm. So the now Home Secretary, Yvette Cooper, has promised to tackle what she calls the epidemic of shoplifting. Labour is talking about reversing that threshold of £200 of stolen goods before offenders will be pursued. It's talking about introducing a specific offence for assaulting shop workers and a new specialist police team as well as more police officers, community support officers on the beat. Would that make a difference or is there anything else you would add to that list, Neil? Well, I would say that the last three, no, four Home Secretaries have all said the same thing. Um, uh, Priti Patel said that. Uh, Tuella Braverman said that. James Cleverly said, stop treating shoplifting as a minor crime. Uh, and Yvette Cooper, as you say, uh, has, has said it's a shameful truth that Britain has become a hotbed of casual criminality, which is very true, because they know they think, or they think they can get away with it. 
Neil, thank you very much for coming in to talk to us. Neil Mackay. My pleasure. Well, here I am, having done my interview with Anita McVeigh on, on the BBC News Channel.